This world is not what you think it is. This world is not what you think it is. Oh, oh. I'm Neil deGrasse Tyson, bitch. We are about to take a journey from the dawn of time to the distant future. We will explore worlds, galaxies, space and time. Hi, I am Neil deGrasse Tyson. And I'm here to tell you how f***ing rad space is. make this journey, we will need to use our imagination, our mind's eye, and this J I just rolled. The distance to the edge of the observable universe is 13.8 billion light years. Doesn't that make you feel small? Like nothing even matters. The closest neighbor to the Milky Way is the expansive Andromeda Galaxy. Whoa, that is a pretty weird word. Andromeda. 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 We all were created from stars. Everything is star stuff. This, this, this pizza, this cheese, and this pepperoni is stars. We are all, mm. Oh, how does that make some star? Mm, I think that's basil. A generation ago, Carl Sagan, Sagan took us on a cosmic, cosmic journey, journey unlike any other. other. Who would have thought someone so chill would want to hang out with me? Just some dude. Oh, damn it. And now I'm here to take you on the same journey to unlock the secrets of the universe. <laughs> I'm Neil deGrasse Tyson, bitch. Is it round or flat? Don't ask a brat. <laughs> Results from a new study reveal a third of young American millennials aren't sure that the Earth is round. Here's what 18 to 24 year olds said when asked, do you believe the world is round or flat? 66% have always believed the Earth is round, yippee. 9% always thought the world was round, but more recently became skeptical. 5% always thought the world was flat, but more recently had doubts, good for them. 4% always believed the world is flat. And the remaining 16% said, I'm not sure, but Greg Gutfeld is my father. <laughs> not true. Don't do it. <laughs> I don't trust your science. Okay. Your Six objective truth. 64% of what? Of millennials are not uh, or only 64% are convinced that the world is a ball. The world is a circle. That the world is a, what is it, a spheroid? Is that what it's called? Oblate? I mean, I'd like to see how that question spheroid. was asked. Exactly. Yeah. Because if they know that we are oblate, and the thing is asking, is Earth a ball? They'll say, no, we're an oblate ball. Well, we're it's... slightly wider below the equator than, a, than at the equator, so we're a pear-shaped oblate spheroid. But it's not a pear that you would find normally. If you found that pair, you'd be like, this fucking pair that's shaped like a ball. So the, th these, distinction, these right. differences in measurements right. are so small that if you found it on the ground, you would say this is a perfect sphere. Right. Let me tell you how, per how good a sphere it is. Right. All right. You ever see the, the schoolroom globes, mm -hmm. the, the geographic globes? And you rub your finger over Nepal and you get the, mm -hmm. the, the Himalayas. Yeah, yeah. And you get the Rockies. And you say, oh, oh. That is a gross exaggeration of reality. Yes. Do you realize if you took Earth, 
with all of its mountains, valleys, and hills, and, and shrunk it down to the size of a cue ball, it would be smoother than any cue ball ever machined. With camphor added to the nitrocellulose, Hyatt invented a unique material that could be molded, cut, shaped, and polished with ease. It would be smoother than any cue ball ever machined. It would be smoother than any cue ball ever machined. Really? Yes. Yes. Think about it. What? Think, think about this. Joe. Really? Joe. Everest? Joe, chill. Li listen to me. Damn. You ready? Okay. Uh, do you know the deepest part of Earth's crust? No. The Marianas Trench off the coast of the Philippines in the Pacific Ocean. That's the deepest part. Deepest part. It goes six miles down. Okay. Oh, okay. So, okay. I was, With, I was without looking, digging. I was thinking of the depth of Sorry, the crust exactly. itself. No, no. Just access to the deepest part of Earth's crust, right. the lowest point on Earth's surface. The Marianas Trench, right off the coast of the Philippines. The highest point on Earth's surface, the tip of uh, K1. Of, K2? Uh, uh, is it K1 or K2? Which one? Is it Japan? I think it's K1. Well, that... Why would you name the tallest peak K2? It's a good point. <laughs> I'm just... <laughs> Right. I'm not a mountain climber, yeah. but I'm, I'm just thinking. Where is K1? Uh, K1, it's the, it's the Himalayan mountains. My name is Vanessa O'Brien, and I'm the fastest woman to climb the highest peak on every continent and the first American and British woman to climb the second highest mountain in the world. For every four that summit K2, one dies. And for uh, every 20 that summit Everest, only one summits K2. The tip of uh, K1. Of, K2? Uh, uh, is it K1 or K2? Which one? Is it Japan? I think it's K1. Is well, that... Why would you name the tallest peak K2? It's a good point. I'm Neil deGrasse Tyson, bitch. Here, here it is. Uh, if you look at like the fuel that was loaded up into the Saturn V rocket, you can calculate where that fuel could take that rocket. It's to the moon and back. <laughs> so it's, they're not going to the Piggly Wiggly, right, yeah. in the Saturn V. No, I'm a retard. Listen, if, if anybody has any real sense, they would look at it and say there's no way that that was a hoax. There's well, no way. There's no way that that was a hoax. There's well, no way. There's no way people went on the moon. There's no way. There's no way people went on the moon. There's no way. Turns out with just two wells, there's enough wiggle room for both explanations to fit our observations. Eratosthenes only had two wells. What the fuck did I just hear? Turns out with just two wells, there's enough wiggle room for both explanations to fit our observations. Eratosthenes only had two wells. You know, fantastic speculation that inspired us could be true. And now we find out that, yeah, it could be true. 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 So in the universe, you might expect carbon. Now, does life require liquid water? Maybe all it requires is liquid. Oh, anything. Well, on one of Saturn's moons, Titan, oh, it yeah. is so cold yeah. that methane, methane right. has normally familiar as the gas that comes out of your stove. Tip, if you live in the city, it's methane. Suburb is propane, typically, but methane is a flammable gas. And it's so cold on Titan, methane has liquefied, and it has become lakes and rivers. There are meandering rivers and river deltas on Titan of running methane. <laughs> it is so cold, it is so cold, it is so cold that methane, methane right. has liquefied and it has become lakes and rivers. There are meandering rivers and river deltas on Titan of running methane. And it has become lakes and rivers. There are meandering rivers and river deltas on Titan of running methane. Ah, that fake news. Fantastic speculation. It is so cold. It is so cold. It is so cold. Speculation. Methane is liquefied. Fantastic speculation. And it has become lakes and rivers. There are meandering rivers and river deltas on fake news. <laughs> no! 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 And not only that, they made sure to photograph him standing there with a really wide angle lens, which curves horizontal lines. So in the photo, you see this curvature of Earth's 
surface, and he said, wow, he's in space. Look at that. No, he's not. At that height, you don't see, you don't see the curvature of the Earth if you are two millimeters above this beach ball. Above this beach ball. Above this beach ball. Above this beach ball. The space is a frontier. Fantastic speculation. The space is a frontier. Fantastic speculation. What, what's the first, what's your first reaction when you learn this? Is it wrong? It is so cold. 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 That stuff is flat. Carbon. And I said, yes. Liquefied. On Titan. Liquefied. And I said, yes. Fantastic speculation. That stuff is flat. That stuff is flat. That stuff is flat. Is flat. Is flat. The epig the epigram on that is uh, the universe is under no obligation to make sense to you. That that's rational, and I've, I've tweeted that, that before. And the epi the epi the epigram on that is uh, the universe is under no obligation to make sense to you. Unknowable majesty of space, that the greatest possible distance we can conceive, the outer limits of our imagination, is just the beginning. <laughs> that's why the stars are just. Fireflies stuck up on that bluish black thing. What did I just say? I'm a magnet. When do you need to be a magnet? Well, what superpower would you like then? I came up with one. I'd be bullshit, man. There's so many meetings going on where you know people are bullshitting. I just like to walk in. I wouldn't need a special costume. Just dress like this. And I'd fly in, I'd go, bullshit. You're talking bullshit. And they'd go, oh, it's bullshit, man. And i go, yeah, I, it is bullshit, man. You're talking bullshit. bullshit. I'm Neil deGrasse Tyson, bitch. You can and should think whatever you want. And if you want to think the world is flat, go right ahead. But if you think the world is flat, and Five, four, three, two, one. And we've heard this kind of thinking before. Let me tell you something. If some of these folks were around when Columbus set sail, they, 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 they must have been founding members of, of the Flat Earth Society. They, they would not have believed that the world was round. I'm Neil deGrasse Tyson, bitch. Yeah, I think the media has to sort of come out of this this ethos that I think was in principle a good one, but it doesn't really apply in science. The ethos was whatever story you give, you have to give the opposing view, and then you can be viewed as balanced. In the clip that you showed of the president, you don't talk about the spherical Earth with NASA in it and then say, oh, now let's give equal time to the flat earthers. Plus, science is not there for you to cherry pick. I'm Neil deGrasse Tyson, bitch. I had asked you to debate one of them flat earth guys. No, I don't, I can't, I, no, no. I know. I'm Neil deGrasse Tyson, bitch. That stuff is flat. That stuff is flat.
the grass. Nice. Yeah. is not flat. We don't. It's flat. I had asked you to debate one of them flat earth guys. No, I don't. I can't. I, no, no. I know. This world is not what you think it is. This world is not what you think it is. Oh, oh.